All right, let's do this. Whoa, you see that? It works. Hey, what's up guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different and very interesting and not the regular stuff that I usually do on my channel. It's going to be something special and out of the box. So recently this brand called as High Wonder has reached out to me and said that they specialize in robotics and produce Arduino based products and asked me, hey Vimal, are you interested in robotics and want to review one of our latest products? And I was like, hell yeah man, I love robotics. I would definitely like to check it out. And well, here it is. They sent us this special product. It's a robotic arm. Yep, you heard that right. This is a legit desktop based, fully programmable and controllable robotic arm guys. So this is how it looks like. Now this thing is very special guys because you can fully control this thing and also completely program it to do a lot of things like you can use this robotic arm to lift objects and place it at a different position and cool lot of stuff like that. And in this video we're gonna unbox and check it out. But the thing is guys this is not ready to use product out of the box. You need to assemble it yourself. So it's not that easy as you think. You need to have some basic knowledge in robotics, mechanical side and also electronics. And since I'm already from electronics and communication background, I have quite experience in this field. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, assemble this thing and see how this robotic arm looks like. Let's get started with the video. So the robotic arm comes in this sort of box packing and the model is called the Lay Arm Lobot. You can even see a picture of the product on the box. This robotic arm offers you a lot of features, let me tell you. It can be controlled in multiple ways, supports graphical programming through PC software, C language programming and the company also offers you abundant learning materials. I'm super excited to unbox and check it out. Let's see what else is written on the box packing. On the side you've got a QR code here to download the comparable smartphone app. And going to the back side, you've got a huge list of components present in this box. Guys, keep in mind one thing, you need to assemble this robotic arm before you can actually use it. Okay, so that was our quick look at the box packing. Now let's open the package and see what do we have on the inside. Oh my god, we've got so many parts and at the top there's a user manual with all the instructions on how to use it. Make sure to read that. Let me keep it aside. And what's this? Looks like it's the main base plate on which you need to construct the robotic arm. It's entirely made of metal and feels quite heavy in the hand. And holy moly, look at these components. We've got a lot of stuff over here. This robotic arm has a 6 DOF structural design which means 6 degrees of freedom. So it's very flexible and can move in any direction. And for that purpose, it utilizes these digital servo units as the main power source for the arms. It uses a total of 6 digital servos to operate smoothly. You've got two LDX218 digital servos, two LFD06 and two LD1501MG servos. You need to connect all these using the provided cables in the box. Along with that, we get a variety of metal brackets in different shapes and sizes, which form the main structural frame of the arm. And in this packet over here, you've got the main motherboard of the robot. This is a fully programmable robot guys. It supports graphical programming using a PC software as well as C language programming. Along with that, we've got a warranty card, a screwdriver to help you out while assembling and a USB cable to connect this robot to your PC. And looks like there's also a joystick over here. Let me show you. Wait a second, is this a PS2 wireless joystick? Yeah, it looks exactly like that. So you can control this robotic arm easily using this wireless joystick. It runs on two AAA batteries. Okay, going next, this is the robot's claw. It's made of metal and can be used to grab and lift any sort of object. As you can see, it's got a prefix servo on the bottom side. We even have a packet of installation screws and in this box you get a DC power adapter to run the robot. It's a 7.5 volt 3 amp power adapter. Some cable ties and sleeves, rotational disc plates, a wireless receiver unit and a high quality ball bearing. So that's it, these are all the items we got in the box. Now let's finally get started with assembling the robot. Assembling it can be quite easy guys, there is no need to get confused anywhere. The company provides you a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to assemble this robotic arm on their website. The instructions were clear and on point and if you follow it properly, you can build this robot in no time. Just watch this video carefully guys and listen to all the instructions I tell you in this video. But yes, do keep in mind one thing, you need to have some basic engineering skills, especially in the mechanical side, so you can easily understand the hardware, the special terms being used here, so that you can catch them quickly. 
As I've told you at the beginning, I've done many DIY projects in the past, so I'm quite experienced in this field. You can find a lot of my DIY project videos on my channel, which I posted a few years ago. Why I'm telling you all that is, I know a lot of people love robotics and such kind of stuff, but after spending a lot of money and getting it, if you are unable to build it or face difficulties, you may regret it later. That is the reason I would strongly recommend you guys to go with these sort of things only if you have some basic knowledge in robotics, Arduino and electronics field. Or at least you can get some help and guidance from an experienced person. So along with the parts, the company also provides you all the hardware installation screws like M2, M3, M4 plus a screwdriver also to get started without any extra tools. Follow the installation steps in their video step by step, fix all the screws firmly and connect all the cables properly. Now I'm not showing you the entire assembling process because it's going to take a lot of time and I don't want to make this video boring. That's why I'm showing you the assembling process briefly. So we're almost done with the assembling part. Make sure to double check all the servo configurations and the cable connections. In the upper arm part you have 3 digital servos and in the lower half you've got the remaining 3 servos. One is over here at the joint, other one is here at the top of this plate and the final servo is on the bottom side below this bearing. Let me just lift it and show you. There you go, this is the last one. So you need to fix that arm on this metal base plate and use these plastic spacers as a stand for the base. You need to fix around 10 of these on the bottom side using the screws provided. Just tighten them up and you're good to go. The final step we need to do is fix this motherboard on the metal base and connect all the servo cables as well as the wireless receiver module. This motherboard lets you program and control all the 6 servos independently and has a lot of different connections on it. This is the Bluetooth module section, you've got a DC in port, a power on a slide switch, a buzzer about that and as you can see I've already connected all the 6 servo cables on this board. Guys make sure you connect them properly, check for the polarities and don't connect them in the reverse direction. And in between them there's also a USB port to connect this board to your PC for programming purpose. And you see these connectors on the right side where it says PS2. This is where you need to connect that wireless remote receiver module. The receiver module has 3 cables, red, black and white. You need to connect these cables over here. Let me show you how to connect them. Just follow the same order as I'm doing in this video. The white one goes in the number 3, then comes black and finally the red one. And that's it, we're all done with assembling and connecting the modules and cables. And here's how the finished model looks like. Alright guys, I'm back. So we're completely done with the assembling part of this robotic arm and this is how it looks like. It looks very cool, right? I really like this color scheme also, black and blue, gives it a nice look. So talking about the assembling part, uh, assembling was not that easy guys. It took me around like two, two and a half hours, even though I was quite experienced in uh, assembling these kind of stuff. But if you're a beginner, you might take a little bit more time. Uh, just follow my instructions, whatever I told you in this video and you'll be able to do it easily. Talking about the build quality, the build quality of this arm is very nice, entirely made of metal. And uh, uh, what do we have over here? The, we've got six servos guys, six digital servos. And there's a motherboard over here where you need to connect all those servos. And also along with those uh, six servos, you've also got a built-in Bluetooth module. So you can not only use this 2.4G wireless remote control to control the arm, you can even connect it to any sort of like smartphone tab or anything and even operate it wirelessly using your phone. Pretty cool, right? But I'll be using this remote control right now to give you a demo. Uh, okay, let me just power it on, pair it with this arm and show you how this thing works. It's very easy to do that guys, you just need to connect that DC power adapter to this motherboard. Uh, you've got a port over here, DC port. After that, just turn it on and you can see the LED lights blinking. Now what you need to do is take this controller, you've got a power on a switch over here, turn it on. Okay, so whenever you turn it on, this remote control has two modes guys. The first one is called action group mode and the second one is called manual servo mode. So in this action group mode, so what is this exactly? Action group mode, in, in this mode what happens is each buttons on this remote control, they're programmed to do certain set of tasks. Uh, you know, I told you, right, this is a programmable robotic arm. So using that computer software, you can completely program this arm. Like if you want to uh, uh, use this robot to lift some object, put it in some other direction or some other place, you can do all that task and assign it to a single button on this remote control. 
So whenever you press, a, press that button in this mode, the robot will automatically do all those commands and get back to its original position. So that is called as action group mode. Quite useful, but right now I'll be using the manual servo mode guys. So in this manual mode, you can, completely, you can completely control all the six digital servos present on this robotic arm using this remote control. All those six servos are connected to these different buttons on this controller. So I'll be using that second mode. If you want to go into that second mode, you just need to press the select and start button together and you'll get a beep on the motherboard. Let me show you. You hear that? So now we are in the manual servo mode. Now let's just uh, power it on, operate and see how this thing works. I'm quite excited to do that. All right. Whoa. 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 Okay, looks like. So whenever you power it on for the first time, we can see some sort of jerks because I think the servos are at their default position to operate in the action group mode. But when you override them manually, it takes, it takes some time for them to stabilize and you know, working, get it working smoothly. So as you can see, now everything is working smooth and stable. Oh, you see that? So you can completely control the arm like this, guys. Right now I'm using this left analog stick to control the direction of the arm from left or right. Very cool. And by pressing it up or down, you can lift it or lower down the arm. Wow. Not only that, using the second, uh, the right analog stick, you can control the upper arm, arm guys, you know, like the palm, palm of the robotic arm. And this is the neck, wow. Very cool. And not only that, you can use these triggers, you know, you've got these two upper triggers on the controller, right? You can use this to control the claw of the robotic arm. Let me show you, you can tilt it like this, rotate the angle, then pressing this lower trigger opens the claws. So using this, you can grab some objects with this claw. The company says that it can lift around 200 to 250 grams of weight, but we'll have to do, uh, test that. We'll have to see uh, what this thing can do. Very nice. So you can just go down, open the claw, pick some item, lift it and put it somewhere else. Very nice. Works pretty well. Awesome, right? All right, guys. So that was our quick operation on how this thing or how this robotic arm works. So what I'll do now is I'll just do a quick test and see if this thing can actually lift objects and, you know, carry them from one place to other place. So we'll, we'll just put this thing to a real world test and see how this thing performs. All right, now comes the fun part. You might be very curious like what this robotic arm can do, right? Well, it can do a lot of things. It's got six DOF structural design, which means six degrees of freedom and can move in any direction you want. So what I'll do now is I'll try to lift this soft drink bottle and pour the juice into this glass. Sounds pretty fun to me, but we'll have to see if that will actually work. Here we go. There's around 100 ml of juice in that bottle. Let's see if the arm can lift it. Whoa, guys, you see that? Lifting it was a piece of cake for the robot. Now let's tilt the arm and pour the juice into the glass. Slowly. I don't want it to spill on the floor. And there you go, right in the glass. Damn, that is so cool, guys. Operating the arm and making it do all this is so much fun. So like this, you can use this robotic arm for a lot of things like lifting and moving objects below 250 grams or handling some dangerous chemicals not meant to be used by hands or anything else. It all depends on your creativity. Talking about the performance, this robot has high precision digital servos and they perform very well. It does exactly what the company says and is great for learning about robotics and also Arduino programming. Okay, so that was our demo using the provided wireless remote. But you can even operate this robot using any smartphone or tab via Bluetooth. The motherboard has a built-in Bluetooth module and all you need to do is install the compatible app on your phone and you're good to go. The name of the app is called Layarm and this is how the app's interface looks like. We've got a lot of sliders over here which lets you control all the digital servos on it and freely move the hand wherever you want. Just check out this clip. 
So like this you can fully control all the arm movements using just your smartphone. Not only that you can even adjust the response time. That means how fast the robot can react to your commands. There's one more thing I'd like to mention. When I used the smartphone app to control the robot via Bluetooth, the arm was responding very quickly with minimum input lag compared to that when used with 2.4G wireless remote. And after you're done with the work, by pressing this red button, the robot will reset and goes back to its default position. Well, that was it for today guys, that was a complete look at this robotic arm from Layarm. It's a very fun project to do and also you can learn a lot by doing such things. The belt quality is pretty good, the arm offers 6 degrees of freedom, can use it to lift objects and is also programmable with the PC software. But there are a few things I'd like to mention so the company could improve them in their next model. The claw doesn't have any sensors to stop after holding any object and sometimes applies more pressure than needed making the gear slip. And the other one is, the joint between the claw and the metal frame is made of plastic. So I would not recommend you to lift objects heavier than 250 grams. Over there I felt the company should have used a metal part instead of plastic. So that's it, rest everything else was great. This robotic arm by Leave and Soul costs about $129, which is around 8,800 rupees. It's a bit expensive, but definitely a fun project. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today, I hope you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.